Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with a High Hand and some really big news today uh, we have some confirmation on the Yamato event uh, yes they have confirmed after the um, after it appeared in AI battles that the Yamato is going to become playable so um, on the 30th of December uh, we are going to get the Giant of the Sea mission so this mission's gonna have six steps uh three of them to collect credits uh three million two hundred and fifty thousand in total and three more to accumulate uh xp uh ten thousand xp with ships um ten thousand xp for commanders and a thousand global xp now uh depending on your setup and perseverance the whole mission should take anywhere from 25 to 50 battles to be honest with you, I think it's going to be a bit quicker than that because, you know, you can you can earn half a million, seven hundred and fifty thousand quite easily in a tier six premium ship. A thousand global XP. I've done that in a single mission with my Sean horse with an XP booster, with a global XP booster and an NXP booster. Um, so I think I think you're going to find we're going to be able to get this done a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah uh, and the best thing about it is it's just general stuff it's things you're going to accumulate when playing so even if uh you you're not going to grind the 25 to 50 battles they reckon on the on the 30th of december just generally playing it you're going to unlock it within a couple of days anyway uh which i really like so uh we've got a uh a uh musashi uh, gameplay going on in the background here just because, well, it, that's, it's a Japanese battleship, and it's about as relevant as we're going to get at the moment anyway. So, once you finish the mission, the, the Amatos will be yours to command, um, but uh, it works off kite tokens. Now, through your daily crates, you can get two kite tokens. You can buy up to three kite tokens a day. They cost 125 doubloons each, but each kite token is one trip out in the Yamato so you're going to be able to play the Yamato well up to five times a day um, unless you accumulate them so you can stockpile them so if you don't play it for three days buy all the kite tokens uh, and get all the kite tokens from the boxes you're going to get uh, you know 15 battles in one day that you can do um, this is done to basically make sure it's not just full teams of Yamatos because yeah I get that and it makes perfect sense because how are you supposed to collect data on how it plays against other ships if all you've got is the Yamatos fighting Yamatos don't think if, if anyone disagrees just just say it in the comments I actually think it's a good way of doing it um, so, uh, whilst battling against the Yamato, you will be doing the Overwhelming Power mission. Um, so, there's an Overwhelming Power mission that basically is going to be doing damage in the Yamato, I assume, over damage against the Yamato. But we will get more details that. Um, doing that mission, you will, uh, in turn, get Sakura coins. Uh, so, basically, these are going to replace your Deutschmarks and your Franks. Um, for spending in the admiralty part of the store so the matchmaking this is the big one the Yamato was the first legendary tier ships ship which means in this case she will replace three other ships on the battlefield so essentially if you're in a Yamato you're considered a division of uh, of, of ships so um so to explain the possible situation so if i'm sailing my yamato i can only have six teammates in total instead of nine uh, and we can come up against nine ships or another six ships and the yamato or if it's all yamatos it's going to be four v four so you can have four yamatos facing off against four yamatos and epicenter mode is going to be included um 
so the replacement rules are due to uh, basically due to them wanting you to basically you're in a legendary ship you know this is a beast of the sea so it should be considerably more powerful so we're not essentially we're not we're getting a new tier but not really you know it's it's not we're gonna it's, there's it, legendary is not tier eight legendary is three tier sevens so it's probably more like a tier 10 but the balancing factor is each Shimato you lose two friendly ships so the event will last uh, up until the next update on february the third at which point the Yamato will leave your port to return later in the year and become part of the general game right okay so um this has raised a couple of questions and i've uh, decided to take a look at some of these questions and, uh, and and provide the answers so you guys don't have to go digging through it uh so we need to grind 20 to 50 battles uh to unlock the Amato for a few weeks wargaming's reply uh, in basic i'm not gonna read there they, they can be quite wordy when they want to be uh the intro mission is uh completed with general gameplay and it's only being pulled because we don't want to leave just one legendary ship in for too long uh, and also to note in one of their other answers uh it's it's also it's also temporary to gauge the uh the power of the model you know if if you're going to put in a legendary ship and remove two other ships can it actually make that much of a difference in a battle are we still going to see an average sort of 50 50 win rate for a team with the Yamato or are the Yamato always going to lose because of the loss of those two ships I think that's a reasonably fair assumption uh, also that confirms that there is more legendary ships coming it's not just going to be the Yamato um, we are going to find some more uh, coming um, no information about how it will come back post event although they did confirm uh that that yes when it comes out you're gonna have to get it so whether it's going to be a grind whether it's going to be a mission uh whether it's going to be free xp uh or whether it's just going to be um a, a premium like a premium ship are you going to have to buy it i'd hate for it to be a purchasable ship in all fairness it's legendary it should be it should be a ridiculous mission maybe not how they do them at the moment where it's like you know you've got x amount of days to do x amount of tasks i think it should be a sort of an accumulative an accumulation of really hard challenges because it's legendary it should be hard to get that's the way i'm looking at it anyway and uh, they also did confirm in the post because uh, someone asked uh, British confusers are confirmed uh, as coming in 2020 so we are going to see more than the Danny in our uh, ports very shortly um, but I said say coming in 2020 could be a year away but they have confirmed that British cruisers are definitely something that's going to be coming in and there will be more information coming out on Friday about the um uh, about the the stats that we're going to see for the yamato um so obviously we should uh, hopefully hopefully friday i'm due to travel back home for christmas so hopefully i'm still around on friday and i've got a chance to uh to pump a video out and uh get you guys all updated so so what, what what does everyone think um i'd love to see uh, a couple of comments in there i like the idea and uh somebody uh, somebody on the facebook group a uh, guy called jimmy jackson pointing this out that the the idea of having so basically it'd be the same as in any sort of real war situation the yamato is going to be a capital ship and the idea is your capital ship is insanely powerful but you need to protect it now this is something that i kind of worry about a little bit with the amato because unless you've got teamwork unless you've got you know a cruiser or you know ideally a destroyer and a cruiser protecting you keeping you covered from the uh the destroyers 
you're gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tough you know for a fact there's a million destroyer captains out there that are just gonna be like yep yeah, i'm gonna go and I, I think you're gonna see people suicide running them so teamwork is gonna be absolutely critical it's gonna be about protecting your yamato in the, in the matches and hopefully we actually see that happen and uh, we don't just see uh, a bunch of Yamatos being uh, left to their own devices and uh, abandoned on the flank for, uh, for a Kagero or a Lightning or a Benson to come around the corner and just absolutely delete them. Um, so yeah, an epicenter. Epicenter is a mode we haven't seen on here yet. Uh, basically the center of the map there's a small ring and the rings sort of gradually extend outwards and uh, each level of rings as you pass through them grants your team more points so it's like capture the flag but there's one big flag and depending on how far you push it, it depends on uh, how many flags you hold and how quick you receive the points for that so that's uh, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting seeing that come back um someone so there's another question here uh, i hope there's a way to not be match made with the amato um and this is its own battle like ranked or saving transylvania um Morgan confirmed that there is no way to opt out of the possibility to face or play with the amato uh she's meant to be part of the uh, part of the game part of the ecosystem and this is the best way to test it so yeah makes perfect sense so i'm about really looking forward to this actually so we've only got a couple of more days so uh, uh good luck out there and well until next time take care